As Americans head home from their Labor Day holiday tonight, up to 8 million people could be impacted by severe weather. The Midwest got a dose last night when a supercell formed over Iowa. Denison got the worst of it as high winds knocked down trees and power lines. Beloit, Kansas was pounded by hailstones the size of tennis balls and winds that topped 70 miles an hour. Meteorologist Megan Glaros of our Chicago station WBBM is following this. Megan, what are you seeing right now? At this point, Elaine, we're looking at some stronger storms moving through portions of Michigan where they've had heavy downpours as well as very gusty winds. That's what we have at the moment, though we know there is a longer term, more intense area of severe weather that will develop anywhere from the Ohio River Valley, stretching all the way back to Oklahoma City through the course of the evening and the overnight. Damaging winds, hail, also tornadoes, all a possibility within this area. And once again, moving into tomorrow, there is the potential for severe weather along portions of the East Coast. We're looking at an area anywhere really from Kentucky, stretching all the way up to upstate New York as a cold front continues to progress to the East Coast. Once again, the risk for severe weather, including isolated tornadoes, damaging winds, and possible hail. So that will be moving into our Tuesday. Elaine? All right, Megan Glaros in Chicago. Thank you.